So if you're moving through this and you're having, you need multiple, multiple string bars. Hi everybody, this is Sam with Python Basics and we're gonna be continuing on with our Tkinter series. And today we're gonna to be looking at TK string var. So we've already looked at int var and basically, all right, so it's gonna be more information video today and then we're gonna elaborate. So what is, what is, uh, string var. So basically anything that you want to change and move. So it is so right now we don't have any functionality but we need to talk about string var. So we're just going to bring it in and then we're going to look at it and we're going to do we're going to do some work on it but we need to have just a solid video just on this. So all right. So that's too much. So we're going to call text tk string var. All right, let's go slow and see this. There are a lot of, let's just bring it in and look. Let's close this out. So dir on text. So, all right. So now, this, this is one thing that comes up when, when I teach this. This is an object. Think about if you have multiple presents and you need to put them in boxes, right? Okay. Let's, if you have three presents or three input uh, text inputs, entries, you have three text entries, you have three presents, three objects, you need three boxes, okay? Been doing this a while, that is the closest and best way I've found to explain this. So if you're moving through this and you're having, you need multiple, multiple string bars because what we'll see very soon is this is how you set them. So next video after we do our functions you'll see this so now we've done dir on it let's do help and as we can see there is a lot of documentation so all right and what is also very powerful let's move this over so I was going through and I was working on this. So right now, we're really only gonna use set because each time, because what we're gonna do is this is foreshadowing, we're gonna use set every time we hit the equal or, or a uh, button, we need to reset going forward. So then also if we want to go and get it and display it someplace else or get it and write it to a uh, database table we need to use get so just a singular video for this today this is an object just like we did um, int var to turn on the to track if the button uh, the box was checked or not and it would move back and forth I've this can be a very challenging topic so I just wanted to break this out alone and just do one one subject on it but this is the beginnings of where this goes so please 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 uh, drop any comments questions or any video requests down below and as always guys thanks for watching stay tuned and we'll see you next time Bye guys. Hey guys, thanks for joining us today. I hope you really enjoyed today's video. And if you haven't, check out this video right here or this one right down here. And most important, make sure you're hitting this subscribe button and the notification bell. Thanks again for joining us and we hope to see you next time. Bye guys.